Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. What do you need to know about their true intentions towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Virgo watching, and not every reading will resonate for you. Let's get right into it Virgo. Let's start with what is going on in this connection. What do we need to know Virgo? Virgo. What do we need to know, Spirit, about Virgo's connection at this time? What do we need to know about this connection that Virgo is in at this time? As always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo watching, and that's okay. Oh, we got two. We got worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so what i'm seeing here right away i feel like someone has been hanging on energetically to someone either this is someone that is hanging on to you virgo or you are hanging on to someone at least in a very like emotional way or energetically so let's see what does the tarot say i'm gonna use this deck what messages do you have for Virgo? It could also be that divine timing is at work. And perhaps this codependency card, sometimes I think of the devil card of the tarot, some sort of an unhealthy attachment. It doesn't have to be addictions. So there could be something going on uh, in this connection where one of you or both of you are in some sort of unhealthy situation. If you're watching me for the first time, welcome. I do reversals. I shuffle my decks completely upside down, turn them over, and I do that with all my decks. So there will be reversals that come out in this reading. I don't know why people get so shocked when they see them. It's, it's okay to have reversals in a reading. It just gives us more accurate messages. All right, so let's see. Tell me about what's going on in this connection for Virgo. We got the Ten of Cups. There you are, Hermit, Virgo energy. What's going on in this reading? The Seven of Wands reverse. I keep getting this card reverse. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Coin. I feel like there is something here with family or a long-term commitment. Um, ten, ten. Um, it could be that this is a connection where you want to have long-term commitment or this is your ultimate like happy ending. I say you, it could also be your person. You're both here. This is the mutual energies here. This is what's going on in your connection at this time. Um, one of you could be in a family situation or you both could be. Um, I feel like with the hermit here, you're trying to figure something out. Maybe you're thinking about what truly makes you happy. What life is all about, you know, what is what is the point of all this is what I just heard. Something like um, like really looking at your life, how it is right now, and then you're wondering like, is this it? With Seven of Wands reverse, this is a very interesting card reverse. This is like someone that is no longer resisting or fighting back. Someone that might not have courage to fight back. Someone that might be ready to give up. I just thought about or felt, I guess I should say, like someone doesn't wanna fight anymore. Like they're tired of fighting is kind of the energy I'm picking up there. So let's see if I'm right about that. Let's see what other information we can get. Let me clarify spirit. These energies for Virgo. Nine of Wands reverse. Yes, this is somebody that I feel is ready to give up, is tired, exhausted. It's too much. One of you in this connection is just tired. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups. Three of Coin Reverse. Yeah, something's not working. There could be uh, interferences here. Someone could just not be putting in the right amount of effort. This could also be in this connection as well. We got the Three of Swords. I wanted to come out as well. What's this? Four of Wands Reverse seven of coin reverse so maybe someone has just put in a lot of effort into this connection i don't for some reason i don't know if this connection is with your person virgo 
It's almost like this is you thinking about the current situation you're in. Something is not stable, not balanced. I feel like a lot of time has passed, so you've you really put in effort and time here, but it's just led to to pain, to disappointment. Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? The devil. Capricorn energy. Yeah, it's like someone's really thinking about the situation they find themselves in. And it's seeking answers, seeking a, a path. Tell me more about the hermit. This could be you, Virgo. Ace of Cups reverse, yeah. Again, with like the heartbreak, disappointment, you know, not being emotionally fulfilled. Something's very heartbreaking about a situation you find yourselves in. Tell me about the Hermit. Strength card, Leo energy. This is like trying to, um, control your emotions, regain balance over yourself so that you can face whatever challenge comes your way. This is courage. This is inner strength. This is being able to gain the upper hand through empathy and compassion, through a sense of control, a healthy sense of control. So I feel like this is what you're trying to to do you could be trying to think of you know how to get courage to do what you need to do four of cups reverse this is a change of heart changing your mind and the five of coin reverse recovery financial difficulty not no longer wanting to struggle why is the seven of wands here reverse Seven of Wands here reverse. Page of Wands. You want to talk, send a message. Page of Wands is like a conversation where you're planning, uh, excitedly talking about your next move, wanting to just get out there and do the damn thing. Moon reverse, Pisces energy here. This could be surprising. This could be something that comes to light. It's like something comes to light and you want to talk about it. Tell me more about the seven of wands. I'm also getting like one of you could be secretly wanting to talk to the other king of coin reverse magician reverse nine of swords reverse interesting someone needs to overcome their fear in order to manifest possibly here king of coin reverse they tend to be already in some sort of a commitment and they're not doing well this could also be someone that can't give either uh because of a situation or because they don't want to give, you know, they're kind of greedy. This is someone that cares about appearances, finances, but in a negative way. Um, it, it could also be that someone's not doing well financially. They're not making the best mistakes or they're not making the best mis decisions, which lead to mistakes. <laughs> so I feel like there's something up with this King of Coin Rivers. I feel like he is the one. It's almost like they're not manifesting something with the Magician Reverse. And it makes them unhappy or it makes them like make even more mistakes, if that makes sense. This could be somebody, this could be a situation where you're, you're talking to someone, but you can't commit to each other. Maybe this will be revealed the way that you feel about each other, the fact that you're talking to each other. 
but be very careful. I have a three of, of swords here with a three of coin reverse. So if this is a third party situation, I feel like it's going to lead to pain. Let's see, how do you feel about each other? I'm gonna be using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is a deck that I have available in my shop. It's linked down below in the description box. It's a deck that you can print at home. So it's very affordable. Okay. Tell me about Virgo's energies at this time. Just Virgo thinking or feeling. Oh, that's way too many. What is Virgo thinking or feeling at this time regarding this person or this connection? Sudden realization, clarity, truth, epiphany. A sudden realization has brought clarity. Okay, what about your person? Tell me about Virgo's person, Spirit. What are their energies at this time? So Virgo, you're, I feel like this Hermit card is you having some sort of realization. Hidden motives, deception, hiding, cheating. Someone's hiding their true motives. Love letter, message, truth, confession. A message is on its way. So your person, I feel... I feel like they've been um, hiding how they truly feel. I have reached out at the bottom of the deck. So they might be reaching out with some sort of a message here. Or there's some sort of conversation that takes place between you. But I feel like this person, either they're not going to tell you everything or there's something off about what they tell you. Let's see. What other messages do you have for Virgo? See, look what happened when I just, I just opened the deck and it's a seven of swords, three of swords. Okay. What messages do you have for Virgo? For Virgo, please. Okay, tell me about Virgo's energies. Now, Virgo, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip the sides <laughs> if it resonates more because the energy can be vice versa. Tell me about Virgo's energies in this connection. Knight of Pentacles reverse. This is something about an opportunity that might feel like it's out of reach. Page of Cups reverse, yeah. It's almost like this is a dream, like a dream opportunity that in your mind is going to take a long time to happen or it might never come. It's temperance. Temperance, Page of Cups reverse, Knight of Pentacles reverse. I feel like you're trying to regain balance again, like make something work for you. Can I get one more? Actually, no. Tell me about temperance. So I kind of already get the message here, but why is temperance here? It's about blending two very different things, trying to have them come together. Three of Swords. The Three of Swords keeps wanting to come out. Tell me more about temperance. This is Sagittarius energy, by the way. The Chariot Reverse. No movement. Okay, so this is what's happening. Seven of um, Swords and the Two of Wands. I feel like this Virgo is you trying to be strategic about a situation that you find yourself in where it's, there's this very painful and difficult and you feel stuck. I feel like there's an opportunity in the back of your mind with the Knight of Pentacles reverse that's slow and coming, very slow, like a dream that is burst or you're just disillusioned, you know, and it's probably because something's taking a long time or you really don't see a way out. I feel like it's led you to be deceptive in some way. Um, and I don't mean that in like um, trying to be mean with your deception, but it's like you're not even communicating honestly about what you're truly feeling about this sudden realization. All this time you're thinking about a, a different path you want to take, but you're not, I feel, being honest about that. It's like you're working in secret or planning in secret, wanting something in secret. Yeah, Knight of Wands. You want something. You're motivated to go after something. Tell me about Virgo's person. Tell 
How many Val Virgos person? What are their energies? Oops. I think that was the Eight of Wands I wanted to come out. Tell me about Virgo's person, please. The sun reverse. So again, it, and I feel like your person too is not really being open or honest about what they truly want to tell you either. It's like you're both kind of mirroring each other. Empress reverse. One more, please. Yeah, the moon. There's something that I feel like you're both keeping from each other. Maybe you're not talking to each other and that's why there's a message on its way. Um, something that will be kind of like a surprise. Maybe you're not expecting to hear from this person with the page of wands, the moon reverse. You know, it's like an unexpected message here or something that I feel someone finally like opens up and, and admits like, hey, I need something, I have something to tell you. I feel like this is something that someone has hidden. Now with Emperor's Reverse, what is that about? Because the Emperor's Reverse, this is something that um, is not really uh, manifesting or growing. Um, there's something that someone, you know, was the wrong investment or something like that. It could also be someone who's very difficult to deal with, someone who's controlling, a jilted lover. So we'll see. Why is this Empress Reverse? Page of Wands. Again. Page of Wands again. Why is the Empress Reverse? Ten of Wands Reverse. Bottom of the deck. Eight of Wands. It's like you want to talk about what's not growing, what's a weight on this connection, what's a burden on this connection. I feel also like this is something that someone has kept deep down or to themselves for a long time and maybe that's become a burden and they just have to speak up. Can I get one more for this Empress please? Why is the Empress reverse? Wow, Eight of Cups reverse. A return or someone needing to, to leave a situation but is prevented from doing so either out of fear or they're delayed, blocked in some way. Something I feel like isn't growing or manifesting because there's still a burden in between this connection or, or harming this connection in some way. And this burden could have something to do with the fact that someone needs to leave a situation but hasn't. Okay, so let's get into this. Let's let's get the four one one about what you need to know. What do you need to know about this? What's challenging or blocking this connection? Any hidden factors regarding this connection spirit that we need to know for Virgo, November twenty twenty. What's the four one one? What do you need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this connection between Virgo and this other person? What do we need to know? Knight of Swords reverse, Five of Wands reverse, Eight of Wands, Two of Coin. Okay. Ace of Swords reversed at the bottom. Again with this like deception. And I feel like this, we already had a reading about this for you, Virgo. I don't know if it was with you. I think it has something to do. I think your last reading. Um, if this is resonating with you, by the way, feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know how it's resonating. I love to hear from you. And I can't read every single comment, but I do love reading them. So also, um, if you're enjoying the reading, uh, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. All right, so Knight of Swords Reverse, this is either a bad conversation or a truth that is extremely upsetting or just outright deception. Someone not telling you the whole truth on purpose. 
I could shuffle my cards. So let's get into this for a go. With the Five of Wands reverse, this could be somebody, again, they don't want to fight anymore. Um, this could be some sort of like putting the egos aside or waving the, the white flag, trying to avoid conflict or no longer have conflict. And then the Eight of Wands, I feel like there's some sort of communication here taking place about a choice between two with the two of coin or it could be that someone's trying to decide whether to move or not like to move forward or not so let's see why is the knight of swords reverse five of coin reverse why is the knight of swords reverse two of wands reverse what's this knight of wands reverse okay Knight of Wands reverse with the Two of Wands reverse. For me as a reader, this is like clear signs of infidelity or someone that's stepping outside of their connection. Might even be a marriage. Yeah, there's love here, but I, I first, you know, this is someone that cannot commit, that cannot choose a path. So they're choosing both. Five of coin reverse, this is someone that I guess wants to have some sort of recovery, some sort of reconciliation. They don't no longer want to be out in the cold. They want to come back in. But for that to happen, I feel like they need to be honest about their true intentions or at least recognize this for what it is. Be honest about this, about the fact that they can't commit, that they can't choose the path. I feel like this is blocking this connection. Why is the five of wands reverse? nine of wands you know it's almost like someone has been trying to avoid conflict and has just held in there you know against their better judgment like this is someone that's exhausted but still hanging on and sometimes you have to ask yourself why like why are you still there yeah the devil reverse this is something that someone needs to break free from but when i see the oh okay we got the five of swords reverse and the seven of coin it's like someone's wondering if that is a good idea if you know it's like they, they don't understand or they don't know if this is what would, would work out for them you know with the seven of pentacles um but again with the nine of wands of the seven of pentacles for me as a reader that's also someone that's been in this situation for a while a situation that's not healthy this could be you Virgo as well in this situation or the person you're dealing with I feel like someone's really wondering like are things gonna pan out for me you know they're having doubts they don't trust in the future of this connection they don't trust in their own feelings I feel bottom of the deck I have the three of pen of not pentacles three of cups reverse I feel like whatever interference is in this connection is what this person is thinking about. Why is the uh, Eight of Wands here with the Two of Coin? There's the Eight of Wands here with the Two of Coin. The World Reverse. Unfinished business, unable to close a chapter or unwilling to close a chapter in order to have a new beginning. Six of Pentacles. You know, this could be that um, this person, Virgo, is unable to give you the same as you, like the same amount of effort or energy that you would give them, or vice versa. Maybe you can't give them what they deserve. Can I get one more, please, for the Eight of Wands? The Empress reversed. The Empress reversed. And there I have the Three of Coin reversed. This could be a person in between you. This could be um, a family member, a friend, an ex partner, current partner. I feel like this is a person. Yeah, and I feel like this is delaying that opportunity that someone wants. They're not getting their wish granted. I feel like because of this interference. 
So I feel like what you need to know is someone is not being completely honest and this could be you as well. Maybe you are not able to be completely honest about what you really need to do. Maybe this, the decision is so difficult that you'd rather just not make a decision or perhaps in your mind, you don't have a choice, you know, you are out of options, but you don't want to really give up completely. I feel like in your mind, if you could have it your way, you would cut your losses, cut this situation out of your life and start a new cycle and not look back. But I really feel like you don't have that option or at least you don't think you have that option. Perhaps there's someone here 